Hello good people and welcome to Finder Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. We continue with our series on how to analyze data with Q functions. We've been following this series. Our goal is to give you an alternative to analyzing data using Excel's Q functions. In the previous sessions, we've looked at the data model, we've looked at how to connect relationships. And in this session, we are going to continue to learn how to create measures which is very useful when you want to use cube formulas. So join me and let's go through this in a few minutes in Excel. So this is our end goal, a sales dashboard that gives us insights into revenue, cost, profit, profit margin. We are able to also analyze profits by subcategory, see the trend and also see profit by location. It has slices here that you can use to slice these visuals and also a timeline. Now, what we want to do in this episode is to concentrate on how we calculate these key numbers, revenue, cost, profit, and profit margin. These key numbers are what we call measures. It helps you to gain insights from your data set. They are the aggregated values that we are going to use throughout all our cube formulas. So let's go to our illustration board and let me break this down for you. So a measure can be defined in a very complex way, but for this purpose and from a layman's perspective, we can simply define a measure as any formula which aggregates data from your data model. So if you recall, we had a fact table and in a fact table, it recorded all the granular sales transactions. So we had columns for date, customer ID, product ID, and city. Apart from these columns, there were some columns that had numbers or values. So we had unit cost, selling price, and quantity. In most cases, the measures are calculated from the columns that contain numeric values. Example, unit cost, selling price, and quantity. From these, you can calculate selling price times quantity to give you total revenue. You can also calculate total cost as unit cost times quantity. And aside using these columns, you can also use a measure to create another measure. So we can then use total revenue, subtract total cost to give us profit, and then go on to use profits over total revenue and then get our profit margin. For this dashboard, these are the key measures we are going to use. And once we've calculated these measures, we can then we can then feed it into our cube formulas. So in a cube function, we are going to use these measures and then we are going to use certain dimensions to drill down and then get the key insights that we need. So typically we use these measures in the cube value. So in the cube value, we start off first by calling the data model and then we'll call our measure and proceed to drill down to the exact indicator that we want in our dashboard. So that is how we are going to approach this. So now let's proceed and see it in action in Excel. So back in our Excel worksheet, we go to our power pivot tab and in here we have the option to calculate a measure. So we'll choose new measure which allows us to create a new measure from the data model. So it loads the data model and gives us this simple dialog box. The first one is the table that is going to host your measure. So we are going to place all our measures in the transactions table. Then we name the measure. So the first measure we are going to create is total revenue. And then you can use the description to give further details for other users to have an idea on how you calculated this then the main formula so what we intend doing is to take each record okay and multiply the quantity sold by the selling price and this will give us the total revenue for each record then after we've calculated it example maybe in m we'll now sum all the calculation instead of doing this step by step with just one dax function we can do this two-step process using sumx. So what sumx does is that 
it returns the sum of an expression evaluated for each row in a table. So you go through a process called iteration and then it gives us the aggregated value in the end. So sum x, the table that we are calculating from is a transactions table. We named this. We we'll bring our comma and then we we'll bring our columns or fields. So I'll bring a square bracket and then call selling price from this table and then multiply it by quantity. Okay, so this is going to be my formula and I can check for accuracy using this. So it appears everything is correct. Then you can use the number format to apply a thousand separator. Okay, we are going to use the same formula for calculating total cost. The only thing that will change here is we are going to be multiplying quantity by the unit cost. So I'm going to copy this and then later come back and then paste this. So I'll click OK. So when I click OK, this has registered. I'll go back again and then create a new measure. So this is going to be called total cost. And again, when I come here, I will just paste this and then change selling price to unit cost. Check formula for accuracy. Everything correct. Number format, use thousand separator and then I'll click OK. So, so far I have two measures, total revenue and then total cost. I go back and then I calculate the next measure which is going to be my profit. And as I indicated earlier, now that you have two measures, we can simply call these measures using a square bracket. So total revenue minus total cost. Okay. This is going to give me my profit. So again, I'll check my formula number thousand separator and then I'll click OK. Then finally, we are going to calculate our profit margin. So when we come back here, we'll name this profit margin. And our formula is going to be our calculated profits divided by our calculated revenue. Okay, for this, we are going to use a percentage format because we need it in a percentage form. So I'll check formula again for accuracy and then I'll click OK. So now let's start calculating for the dashboard by creating a new worksheet. So we are going to call this calculations. Alt H O R to rename this. And you can narrow this out and then place all my labels here. So I'm going to call this calculations. So now, as I said, after you've calculated your measures, you can use the cube value to call these measures. So we are going to bring total revenue here. And that is going to be equal to cube value. And you bring a double quote to call the data model. Okay, then you bring a comma. And then you bring the double quote again. And then you have the option to choose the measure that you calculated using measures. So I'll select measure, bring a dot, and then it now lists all the measures that I calculated. So I'm going in for total revenue and then close off my measure. So it's that simple. We can now just call all the, so you can now call the total revenue using this. Again, to make it easier, I'm going to copy this. Okay, enter and I get a total calculation here. Now let's do same for total cost. So for total cost, I'll paste this and instead of total revenue, I'll call total cost and then I have this. Okay, and then my profit is going to be equal to this and then I call again my profit. And then finally, my profit margin. Okay, so this is the introduction to measures. And in subsequent videos, we are going to drill down on these measures that we've already calculated using some slices and other dimensions in the data model. So please practice. The workbook will be shared on our YouTube channel. 
you can follow along and practice with us all the way to the final dashboard. Thanks for watching. For more of these short videos, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number or we'll add it to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly on your phones. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. Please visit, subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.